Hello everyone. Last Friday, Nifty increased for the seventh straight session, and it is the longest positive rally this year. Although the magnitude of the increase is not that high. I mean, compared between 16th August to 23rd August, in the five trading sessions, Nifty increased only 1.15 percent. All because market was very cautious ahead of Fed Chairman speech in Jackson Hole Symposium. So in this video, we are going to discuss about what Fed Chairman said in the Jackson Hole Symposium, and in addition, our regular pre-market report for today, 26th August 2024, for the Nifty stock market in terms of Nifty and Bank Nifty. If anyone interested in watching the whole Fed Chairman speech, please go ahead. I will attach the link in the description below. It's only 18 minutes video, not big like FOMC meeting press conference. And for most part of the time, he explained why inflation was increased in the first place and why it is decreasing now, and what is the current state of the economy. Now let's look at the answers. Why was inflation increased? Due to three reasons. One, government stimulus packages for the pandemic, which stabilized the demand. But pandemic reduced the supply, which resulted in the supply shortages. And on top of that, this Russia conflict, which started in February 2022, increased the imbalances in the commodity like oil and food, etc. Then the second question: Why inflation is decreasing now? I mean, he said that in the last 12 months, PCE inflation dropped to around 2.5 percent, and after that, he acknowledged the fact he got more confidence that they will achieve the 2 percent inflation Fed target. Regarding the Reason he said mainly because of Fed's restrictive monetary policy stance and the improvement in the supply side. Then the third and final, what's the current state of economy? Here is where he talked very very dovish, like the economy is doing good though the unemployment rate increased to 4.3 percent. Still, it is far lower than the historical average 8 percent. Here the next two are the very important statements. He said the unemployment rate increased is not because of economy is doing not good. Unemployment rate increased because of increased labor supply, and then he openly admitted this is exact word by word what he said. Time has come for policy to adjust, meaning in the upcoming September month he is ready to start the rate cut cycle. However, the number of rate cut and the quantity of rate cut, like 25 basis point or 50 basis point, those will depend upon the incoming data. After that, it's all he said the same stuff which he always say in the FOMC press conference speech, like he wants to balance between the inflation and labor market, etc. I mean, before this, I saw some of the analyst articles. Most of them, including myself, expected him to say. Just based on the incoming data, he will perform the rate cut rather than giving the absolute certain words. However, this statement "time has come for policy to adjust" was the very much closest sentence that he can possibly give. That most probably he is going to perform the rate cut in the upcoming September month FOMC meeting. So last Friday night, U.S. market was super positive. If required, please pause and have a look at the share number. In New York Stock Exchange, 87 percent of the listed stocks increased and one. Only 13 percent decreased, and it's the same scenario in the Nasdaq too. Hence, all three U.S. major index increased substantially. Dow Jones and S&P 500 increased around 1.15 percent, whereas Nasdaq outperformed and increased near 1.5 percent. In case of VIX, it's almost. Crashed 10 percent and dropped below to 16. In line with that, on Saturday morning, Gift Nifty also increased and closed at 24,948. Now, equating it with the Spot Nifty, it's indicating the gap up opening of 80 to 100 points. But that positive enthusiasm was not seen in the ADR or GDR market. I mean, among the major ones, Infosys and Wipro ADR both closed flat to negative. Whereas in case of banks, ICICI Bank ADR increased around one percent, and HDFC Bank ADR increased one point five percent. So as it is, IT stocks indicating flat opening, whereas the banks looks positive. However, if we calculate the arbitrage, Infosys, Wipro ADR, and Reliance GDR, those three indicating the flat to positive. But surprisingly, ICICI Bank got the 0.5 percent negative arbitrage. Regarding HDFC Bank, it looks like it's building up the dollar premium. Either way, it looks positive to me. But the exact percentage we can say only after this dollar premium increase settles down. Overall, banks looks okay, and other stocks are indicating the flat opening. So those were the things happened on the dollar market. Now let's look at the new India related info. Today, I would like to cover three topics. One Indian government new national pension scheme. Two Infosys cognizant court case related. 
then third my excel open interest analysis i mean on saturday indian government passed the new reform regarding the national pension scheme here please cut me some slack i will tell what i read i didn't have time to verify the fact behind it before 2004 central government employees don't need to contribute anything towards their pension pot however at the start of their retirement they will get half of their salary 50% as pension that rules were changed in 2004 and as per the current pension scheme employees has to contribute 10% of their basic salary and on top of that indian government will contribute 14% then the pension payout will be depend upon the market return which sent government invest in the government debt that now in the new national pension scheme the pension payout based on the market return is changed back to 50% of the assured basic salary drawn during the last 12 months before the retirement provided they work for minimum 25 years of service and this rule expects to implement from april 2025 and obviously it's good for people from the stock market perspective it's expected to increase the government expense by around 6000 crore rupees and it also signals to the investors that this newly formed government stance is more tilting towards the popularism which is in contrast to the last 10 years so we can expect market to react for this anyway moving on to second cognizant sued infosys and also accused them that infosys were stealing the cognizant trade secrets which in turn infosys used it as a competitive advantage here infosys denies the allegations However, because of the court case, we can expect Infosys to be on focus today. And finally, open interest analysis. Future market wise, compared to a week ago, retail people and proprietary traders reduced their long position slightly. On the other hand, DII and FII increased their long open position. I mean, a week ago, at the end of 16th August, FII held 50% long and 50% short. that now changed to 52% long and 48% short and the same status for both retail and proprietary traders both holding 52% long whereas in dia case they hold only 35% long i guess in the cash market dia holds lot of stocks i think they might just hedging their position hence as per future market fii retail and proprietary traders all three slightly tilted towards for positive run on the other hand clearly dia is betting against or in case protecting themselves against the market downtrend so that's the future market now let's look at the status of option market i mean it's same if you could please pause and have a look there is no change in stance in any of the group compared to a week ago all of them still maintaining the same stance as what they were before proprietary traders had more call option buyers and more put option sellers so their stance was breakout on the upside and range bound on the downside whereas about retail traders they are expecting a range bound on both upside and downside as they sold more put options as well as more call options on the other hand fii is exactly opposite to that they bought more put options as well as more call options meaning their stance is also same as last week either breakout on downside or on the upside as a summary us market closed to super positive so global momentum also improved in line with that gift nifty is indicating the gap up opening of 80 to 100 points in addition future and option open interest analysis also slightly tilted towards more positive run however except hdfc bank that positiveness was not visible in the indian area Also I'm not sure about the market reaction for the government popularism move on the national pension scheme space and in addition this cognizant court case against infosys probably might influence the infosys price action today then regarding the things to look out at 1:30 pm august month germany's business climate index is due to release then in the night at 6 pm us durable goods order data for the july month are some of the items we need to keep an eye out today so that's all in this video hope you all got some useful information Please consider subscribing the channel and liking the video so it will help me beat the YouTube algorithm and also motivate me to do more. Please don't make any investment decision based on this as not a SEBI registered advisor. I am doing this for me and viewers educational purpose only. Thanks for watching.